Hi, welcome to another episode of Home Studio Workshop. This one's all about a little thing called Lyric Pad, which is a Android only app, which works beautifully. Um, I use it on my phone, I use it on a tablet, and it gives you the lyrics to all the songs that you can't remember the words to, which when you get to my age is all of them. And please try and understand, everybody, pretty much everybody over 30, uses some kind of lyric reminder service. Um, it's just too much to remember. You see a big act on stage and you think they're looking down at their monitor. It's not a monitor, it's some kind of lyric provider. So everybody does it and if you're going to do it, do it well. Do it nicely. What I see a lot of, um, locally especially, is people with music stands with pages of pages of paper on them and they've got the music stand up here <laughs> and you can just about see their face peering over the top. That is not acceptable. That is bad. Do not do it. What you want is something down out of the eye line that you can still see and it's fairly easy to do. You can get these apps very, very cheaply. And um, in fact, you can get them for nothing. You can get them free, uh, but they'll have adverts on the usual story. You know how that goes. Um, but anyway, this one's called Lyric Pad, and it comes with a companion app called Lyric Search, which enables you to go find lyrics. And I will, I will show you how to use these thingies and I will also show you how to back it all up. Because I'll say this now and I'll say it again later. What you've got here is text files. They are just ordinary, plain old text files. The donkey of the computer world. <laughs> Sorry, donkeys. But that's what it is. Um, so you can back them up laughably easily and never have to worry about losing them. Anyway, let's go and have a look. Well, Lyric Pad. Here it is. As you can see, open a lyric, manage lyrics, options, open set lists, manage set lists, blah, blah, blah. Let's go into the open lyrics for now. And there's a list of all your lyrics. I'll show you how to get them later on. Um, but just pick one here. Act naturally. That's a, a little song. As you can see, I have here the speed at which I like to play it, which is 175. The key, which is E. And some other information, which I've forgotten what it is. Um, if you watch closely, you will see that it is scrolling upwards. So there's a, quite a lot of lyrics in this. Well, not that many, but... But you can stop it at any point by clicking it. And start it again by clicking it again. You can alter the speed. At which it scrolls, if it's too fast for you. Um, on and on and on, many, many things you can do. Um, you can change the size of the font. Down at the bottom here, bottom right, there is a flashing thingy, which is in fact a segment counter which does the speed. It's a little hard to, to get, but once you get the hang of it, you can you can see how it works, and that's about 175. We are going to put me in the movies, etc, etc. So that kind of works. Uh, back, you can have set lists. So I've got various set lists here. Um, for different acts, for different um, people. For, I've got a Hank Williams set, I've got a Neil Young set, I've got an Eagle set. That's something I don't use anymore. Um, but that's another story. Various set lists, you can alter them. There's one. But 
blah, blah, blah. Oh, these extra things were uh, guitar settings. I remember now. Chorus, C for chorus, something like that. C over compressor, so it's just to remind me of the stuff I did, which I don't do any more much. So that's that. Is under, it's a brilliant program. Um, you can do a search for lyrics. Manage lyrics. Lyrics search. There is a Bing search thing, but you have to, it's a bit complicated. You have to go through a process. Better to download the lyrics search app and use that, in my opinion. Hit on lyric search, press there to start. I'll do a previous search because I know it works. Four strong winds. OK. It brings up a, a list behind all this malarkey. I don't know why. That's a bit of a fault, but never mind. It gives you all kinds of choices of where to get the lyrics from. So let's push the lyrics freak one. And there you have the lyrics. And push save, and it will save it into your phone. The brilliant thing about LyricPad is that you can back it all up on your computer. It's an Android-only program that we've discussed. But you can back it up on your computer with great ease. Here is... Uh, here is the, I've plugged in my phone into, into my desktop. If you go to the internal storage of your phone, you will find that LyricPad has made a folder, obviously, to contain whatever lyrics you've downloaded so far or made up so far or whatever you've done so far. There's also a folder for Lyric Search if you've installed that, which I recommend you do. Inside LyricPad, there are folders for lyrics and folders for set lists. If we open the lyrics folder, you will see all the many, 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 many song titles I have in there. As we were looking at that Neil Young song, Four Strong Winds. There's that there. And as you can see, looking closely, if you can see it, I hope you can, but these are text documents. They are simply text documents, the simplest of all creatures. They are text documents, which are obviously, as you, I'm sure, know, you can make on your computer or anywhere you like. You can make a text document. So if you open that text document, there you go, that's what you get. That's what the that's what's on the phone is simply that information, bling 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 bling, and the app on the phone converts that into looking a little bit more sensible and, and reasonable. But that is the base information you have. So, with that in mind, all you need to do is to, is to create a folder on your computer, which is this, which is here which I have called <laughs> entertainingly lyric pad contents. And I've duplicated the folders we just saw in the phone. So that's them. And then you can back everything up from here. So you could just do a control. Just do a, a control A. Control C. And then you can control V and you can paste them all onto your computer and then you will have them all as well as that if you open I don't know if I've even backed this one up it's been no I haven't oh, I'll do it now then <laughs> where is it four strong winds there you go control copy control V and there it becomes backed up so if you open it in there the great thing about it is that now you can edit it On your computer and copy it back onto the phone if you wish and where that comes in handy is if you need to do something major or whatever you can do it on the computer and then simply do the reverse copy the file 
here and copy it back onto your phone. The thing works two ways absolutely straightforwardly. And that's as simple as that. And it means you have everything if you lose the phone. If your phone is stolen, don't worry. Get a new phone. All that work you did in saving all these songs is all backed up on your computer. And being me, it's not only backed up on my computer, it's backed up on a separate hard drive as well. And on a on a tablet <laughs> and a few other places as well, because it's a I've got um, 180 songs there and uh, that's a lot of work obviously also you can do a simple search on your computer and find lyrics and turn them into text files if, it, if they're your own songs which there are dozens of in my list here you can write the words down as a text document and then copy it into your phone and then you'll be able to have that as well. So there are many and various uses for this. Excellent software. Anyway, that was that. Um, please go and get these, use them, put them on your tablet, put them on your phone. You can get little stands for your for your phone where you can sort of sit it on a desk next to you or whatever. It is. There's a million ways to do it. And it's so much easier. It takes so much strain off you when you don't have to think about the next line. I mean, a lot of the time, it's one of these weird things. A lot of the time, if it's there, you won't use it. But if it's when it's not there, you panic and you go, oh, shit, I can't remember the next line. Oh, Anyway, go get one. They're great. Any comments, any questions, please let me know and I will respond. See you later.